My name is Michelle Kunz. I'm hoping you saw my other videos on heart blocks and how to look at a basic EKG picture. Today I'm going to show you EKG strips and give you a basic overview of each one. Thank you. Normal sinus rhythm. The heart rate is between 60 and 100. The PR interval measures normal. The QRS is usually narrow. The R to R's and the P to P's all measure regular. So normal sinus rhythm or regular sinus rhythm is this picture. When the heart rate is below 150, but yet above 100, it is sinus tachycardia. It's a faster rhythm, QRSs are narrow, but it's difficult to t differentiate between the P's and the T's. But it usually is a regular rhythm, sinus tachycardia. Sinus bradycardia. Notice the heart rate is below 60. Patient may be symptomatic. However, it is a regular rhythm. The PR interval measures normal. It's just the heart rate is slow. Sinus bradycardia. Asystole. A deadly rhythm. We will check in more than one lead to see maybe it is V-fib. But asystole, there is no rhythm. Start CPR. Atrial flutter. It is one irritable foci firing rapidly in the atrium, causing the sawtooth or picket fence pattern in the baseline. The R to R's are here are narrow and are usually regular. Atrial flutter. Atrial fibrillation, multiple irritable foci firing rapidly in the atrium, causing that very chaotic baseline. The R to R's are never regular, and there are no discernible P waves. Atrial fibrillation. Here is sinus rhythm with PACs. It's an ectopic firing in the atrium, causes an irregular rhythm to occur, but no symptoms usually. PACs. Here's a sinus rhythm with PVCs, an ectopic originating in the ventricle. They could be unifocal PVCs, or if they look different, they could be called multifocal PVCs. Here's a sinus rhythm with two PVCs in a row called a couplet. Here's sinus rhythm with a run of VTAC, but the patient goes back to a normal sinus rhythm. Here the patient is converting to a ventricular tachycardia. I'm going to check a pulse. If there is a pulse, I'm going to use medications and synchronized cardioversion. Here's a patient in VTAC that converts to a pulseless rhythm called V-fib. If this picture was larger, I might even call this picture Toussade de Pointe. It is a form of VTAC, actually, and I would check a pulse. But this picture here is a good example of ventricular fibrillation, a pulseless rhythm. Here's a rhythm called first degree heart block. It is not slow at this time, but sometimes heart blocks are slow. But if you notice the PR interval 
is greater than 0 0.20 seconds. In this rhythm, I see groupings of QRSs and dropped beats. The PR interval also gets longer, 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 and then there's a P wave with a dropped QRS. Longer, longer, longer drop. What's my name? Winky Bach. In this patient, this rhythm appears regular but I see more P's than Q's, so I know it's a heart block. And every time there's a QRS, the PR interval is constant. So every time there's a QRS, I say it's married to a P. And every time it's married to a P, I'm thinking of two people getting married. Second degree, type two, is the married heart block. In this rhythm, I do notice wide QRSs. I notice the heart rate is also slow below 60. I see more P's and Q's. I know it's a heart block. And there is no consistent relationship between the P's and the Q's. So this is a third degree heart block, complete heart block, also called AV dissociation. This picture is a slow rhythm, looks like the QRSs are wide, originating in the ventricle. This is often called an idioventricular rhythm. Patient may be stable. This also could look like a rhythm after a patient has coded. There may or may not even be a pulse. Here's a slow rhythm. It's a regular rhythm, but I notice that the P waves are inverted right before the QRS. That's a junctional rhythm. Sometimes you don't see the P waves because they're hidden in the QRS, or sometimes they're after the QRS. Either way you see it, the P waves will be upside down because of retrograde or upside down conduction. That's a junctional rhythm. I see a spike and an immediate capture. This is a pace, paced rhythm. This is a ventricular pacemaker. In this chaotic picture, I see a spike and a P wave, a spike and a QRS. So I have uh, multiple spikes and captures. This is an AV sequential or dual chamber pacemaker. This is an implanted pacemaker. This is what you might see on a cardiac monitor when they're doing CPR, compressions on a patient's chest. If they're doing deep, effective, high quality CPR, you will see this picture on your monitor. This is not a good picture. This is an end of life picture. They call this an agonal rhythm. Thank you.